Today I wanted to take a look at this mod I found on Nexus Mods made by Luke FZ. It adds DLSS 3.5 and frame generation for free. You don't have to pay for this one. Although you can donate to the modder if you appreciate their work. I'm sure uh, they're going to appreciate that. But the directions that I've made on how to install it and configure this, it's going to be at the 3 minute and 40 second mark of this video. I'm going to label it so you can just skip to that right away if that's all you want to see. But I just wanted to kind of take a look and appreciate the modder's work here. Um, just look at the image quality which for my opinion actually looks great. Uh, you know, the uh, we've seen DLSS do a better job with the flickering that can be seen in the game even in native resolution with the TAA actually it looks it looks a lot more flickery than you know even FSR actually fixes that a little bit but so this will add frame generation to the mix as well which adds about 30 to 40 percent more frames per second and you get a more uh, smoother motion fluidity picture which, which looks pretty good. So what I wanted to do now is just jump and do a side-by-side -side real quick. We're going to run through New Atlantis and look at, on the left it's going to be native, no mods at all, and then on the right it's going to be the game with this frame generation mod and DLSS. Like Pure Dark's DLSS mod, this essentially replaces FSR2 with DLSS as well, so it kind of works kind of similarly in that way. Although there is additional settings that you can tweak that I will show how to do on the uh, configure file in the directory folder. On top of that as well, there's another mod that I'm running. It's an LUT mod, which essentially removes Bethesda's filter. They have this filter running that kind of makes all the dark areas glowy. Um, I guess it can look kind of nice on LCD screens, but I use an OLED. And you know, OLEDs are known for those nice inky blacks, the nice contrast. So what this mod does is it essentially removes that. So it makes all the dark areas look a bit darker and more contrasty, if that's a word, I guess. But if the image looks a little bit different, that is why I'm running that mod. That's on Nexus Mods as well if you want to check it out. It's actually pretty cool and that, that can also be configured uh, to your liking. I'll leave a link to that one down as well if you guys want to check it out. It's a shame House Varun abandoned their embassy. I bet we could have learned a lot from one another. Now it's time to look at the directions on how to install this mod. Let's go do that. Okay, so here we are at the Nexus Mods mod page. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to Files and then we're going to download the necessary files. So you're going to click on manual download for Steam. You can also do it for Game Pass. But first we're going to download the DLSS file from Tech Power Up. So you're just going to download DLSS 3.5 or in the future if it's a newer one, you're going to download that. That'll go to your downloads folder. And then we're going to download the frame generation file, which is also at Tech Power Up's website. So click download, get that file as well. That'll go to your downloads folder. And next we're going to download the actual mod. So click on download, click on slow download, and you're going to wait a second until that finishes downloading. And that'll also go to your downloads folder. Okay, now we're going to go to the downloads folder and we're going to open up the Starfield directory folder which you can do from Steam right click on Starfield manage files then browse local files that'll pop up the Starfield directory folder so here we are in the Starfield directory folder on the left 
and our downloads folder on the right. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the mod file that we downloaded and just grab everything that's in there and throw it into the Starfield directory. And if you wanted to get rid of this mod, you're basically doing the reverse. You would want to remove these files. Okay, so we're going to dump that file in there just like that. Next, we're going to grab the DLSS file and drop it into that streamline folder as well. So here's the DLSS file into the streamline folder. And next, we're going to dump the frame generation file into that streamline folder as well. And that's it. That's how you do it. On to how to configure everything. Basically, if you want to tweak it, or you can just leave it alone. But if you want to tweak it, all the directions are in the description of the mod, right? They're all down there. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up that config. It could be config or .gjson or something like that. But it's a config file. You open it up with Notepad, and there's all your values. Okay? That's basically what you're going to change. And on the description, it tells you what each one does and the changes that you can make okay so you can change frame generation from true it's on false is off obviously and then you can use uh, the Nvidia reflex to cap your frame rate which is actually really nice right now it's at zero but if you wanted to cap it at 90 or whatever that would work I usually cap my frame rate because I like a more consistent experience but that's about it then you just close the file save it with your new values and then launch the game and that is it. That's going to be it for this video though guys. I hope you liked it. I hope it helped. And if you did like it, give it a like. If you have any comments or any thoughts, any suggestions, leave them below in the comment section. And have a good one. Thanks for watching.